Hi, welcome back to Empowered. I'm your host, Kelly. And Tatiana. And so last week we spoke with y'all. We told about a little bit about both of us and our background and, and how Empowered came about, how we got here. Mm -hmm. And so this week we really wanted to talk about the power of the tongue and our words yes uh, what comes out of our mouth pretty much correct uh the power of discernment we spoke a little bit about that last week mm -hmm. um also the power of prayer and the power of praise mm, so yes um, and just being aware of what we say because sometimes we just don't mm -hmm. even think we just speak and you know we just have to hey i i can't do this oh yes you can you know or just eliminate that word i can cannot or can you know what i mean so yeah so yeah. just being kind of frivolous I mean yeah with with your words or with with your speech in general correct like just saying i am and then filling in the gap with negative stuff like i am the b word we don't say it. i don't say it or try not to at least i've catch myself once or twice since i've committed to not saying that word yeah. And then, but then obviously we're humans, we forget, well, whatever, we're in the moment, you know, so. I'm probably horrible with that, but I have a, a very, like, so my personality is, I joke a lot, and then mm. I notice that, like, we just have our, this thing in our family, like, we, we would, mm. you know, just jokingly say little, yeah. probably not nice things, like mean little digs at each right. other, but jokingly, you yeah, know? yeah. Um, and so, but they did studies where the no. brain doesn't know the difference, the difference. and yeah. that is why it's really even jokingly, like I wouldn't say, those yeah, things. like I would encourage people not to say it like at work, especially because I'm always at work, <laughs> unfortunately, but, uh, mm -hmm. these are the things that I, you know, I, I kind of like, I hear people see, uh, say about themselves, about others. I'm like, oh, don't say that. Like. Yeah. Be careful. That's something like, that know, God like, revealed to you, especially just like in prayer or in maybe. I mean, yeah. Reading. I mean, you kind of pick it up when you're learning, like doing self development, where you're 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 teaching yourself how to treat yourself better. Right. You know right. what I mean. No, so, if if you call yourself ugly or fat or you start you to know, believe not, those or things, dumb. You know, those are the big ones. Yeah. Like. You call yourself those things, you're gonna eventually gonna believe it. You know right. what I mean? So I had this thing where I'm like, I'm smart. It's in I started with affirmations and then you know, added to my prayers. Like, God, please uh, give me the knowledge and just the things that we need that I feel like we need to just add to ourselves and tell ourselves, you know, that way um it's just easier for us to believe. Like, you know, like it's, it's not like, us. right, exactly, yeah. exactly. So it's not like fake until you make it. it it's basically just, True. it's, it's that, our, that is our truth. Like we, yeah. we are smart. We are knowledgeable. We are, you know, wise, we are kind, we are gentle, you know, and we just have to, you know, sometimes you don't even feel like it, you know, because somebody is, cuts you off at the grocery store. So you're just like. Oh, who is this person? You know, <laughs> but I'm, I'm like, I am gentle. <laughs> and I, you know, I say, thank you, Jesus. You know, maybe right. he needs to go and get out of here. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I guess that gives you opportunity to put it in practice. <laughs> yes. Uh, just, just being aware, just doing yeah. everything mindfully, because I feel like sometimes we just, we're just on the go. Okay, I gotta get here, you know, and they don't we don't give ourselves time. And so that's the, the this time is it's precious, you know what I mean? If you are living your life angry because of X, Y, and Z, whatever happened in our lives that's bad, um, I just feel like we just need to slow down and just be aware of what we're telling ourselves. Um for people who have kids, you know, what you're telling your children because your external words become their internal words. Yeah, that, that's what they yeah. basically so what basically, they think of themselves. Exactly. Uh, so they grow up thinking, "Hey, you're dumb or you're 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 not the smartest or you know what I mean? You just have to be careful with your words. 
especially yeah. you know intentional you're, you're and right. careful like you're, you said your family your friends yeah. you know what i mean so well what i just thought of is like you wouldn't say that to your you know your closest loved one you wouldn't call them dumb you wouldn't call them slow or, or it, fat ugly all those things right so why would you say it to yourself mm, yeah. why would you say it about yourself right. and you yeah. might say it about somebody that like you said cut you off or yeah. whatever but yeah. you, you i mean, just think about things that might Make me mad a little. Right. No. I get over it. Right. right. But, yeah. No, that's that, that's good. Those are good principles. Those are all good things. And truth be told, it's the way we're supposed to live. That mm-hmm. is the way God called us. Yeah. So that's why I asked maybe if you, you God revealed some of that to you, like as you were he, journaling or prayer. I was reading the Gospels because once uh, they advised, I would start at, you know, reading the Gospels. Because I was like, where do I start? For people that are beginning, you know, their journey with God, like myself, again, you know, because I knew about the Bible. However, I never read the Bible, yeah. you know. So there's a difference between the Christian that just goes to church and just doesn't read their word, doesn't know the word, doesn't, you know, battle the spiritual battles with what God has given us. And that's, that was the difference between then and you know, and to be fair, I was young, you know what I mean? Not to just use that as an excuse, but I, I just felt like, oh, it, this is just for the grown ups. But no, I just want to encourage you. It doesn't matter how old you are. You can read the word. God can use you um, and, and just be powerful. And God's, you know, God used David when he was really young, you know, shepherd boy. Yeah. And so that's when his journey began. But um, going back to what I was trying to tell you, um, so when I was young, I didn't read the Bible. I didn't. I just prayed and I said, oh, thank you, Jesus. You know, just very simple. Not, no no relationship. You know, now I realize, hey, you kind of have to read your Bible at home, not just when you're at church. You know what I mean? So I kind of just started reading the Gospels. And then that's when I realized maybe I shouldn't do that. Or maybe I shouldn't say that. Maybe I shouldn't act like that. And you know once you get into that then because that's basically the instruction book for our lives and what we need to follow amen and you know amen to that for real because i feel like some people are they just expect um people who are knowledgeable about the bible to help them no we have to speak and seek our own truth Amen. So, <laughs> so, well, it is a personal relationship. So correct. What, like you were talking about, you grew up in church and you mm-hmm. went with your mom and dad, but it was never personalized to you. No. you just, it was just a almost you, you were there because you had to. Obviously, mom yeah. and dad took you where I grew up and I didn't have anyone taking me, but I still didn't, you know, didn't have that personal relationship with them until later on in life. And, you know, my teenage years, late teenage years, but like. It is a personal relationship. And so it, with any it relationship, yeah. if you want it to be good, you're going to have to do some work, you know, mm-hmm. talk to them, mm-hmm. uh, spend time with them, right. like all of those things. There's no difference with no, our relationship no, with him. Not at all. So I just think, I think that's a good point that you made. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, the other thing I was thinking about, and I told you about this book last oh, week. Yeah, I brought yeah. it. Um, I'll show them. So it is... Stormy R. Martin's power of the power of praise. It's the the power the prayer that changes everything. The hidden power of praise. Oh, and wow. so, um, just a little backstory on when I first read this, mm-hmm. and that's yours. You can have it. Thank um, you. You're welcome. Uh, okay, I'll read. I read this when I was in a really dark, low place. Um, at that time, I was married, and we were having marital problems, mm. and. God brought that across my path and I started reading it. And so if you open it up, there's like points in the you very were, beginning. Did you yeah. have that stuff for me? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, almost like it, it is the index, but it, there, right. what I loved about it is when like there would be things going on and I would like open this and be like, oh, I need to read it when, you know, today I'm having negative thoughts or, you know, when there was point whatever god was guiding you right like, or right? i was struggling to forgive somebody there's mm. a, a a chapter on it that when you need to forgive someone and so but that's I, just like the hardest thing to do it is especially when somebody hurts you 
right? Or hurts your loved ones. I'm I'm more so that way. Like, oh. if you come for my children mm. or people that I love, you're on my list. And I, I have to, when you yes. talked about it last week, like self-control, that's where... The Holy Spirit has to get a hold of me because I'm I have a I have a bone to pick with you. Yeah. But well, like we talked you're, about, you're human. You, that's the right. Human that's my human. Us. That's my flesh, and I am protective of them. And so, with the self control, I I you know, I have it with myself. But if it's somebody that I love, one of my kids, or you know, close mm-hmm. close to me. Uh, it's a little harder. Yeah, it's hard to pray. Like, Please up. help us, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, pray about it. Ask others. You know, pray. Pray for me, because I may say something. I'm about to get out of character, basically. Um, but so I learned in this book. I, I'm, I'm, I feel so fortunate to have got, read it when I did, mm-hmm. because I learned about the power of praise and about like no matter what storm trial you're going through, how bad your day is, even. In the midst of that, if you praise, start thanking God for, you know what, my car broke down, but mm-hmm. at least I have a car. At least I'm right. able to get from point A, point B in this vehicle. Mm-hmm. And you're going to figure out, I'll figure out, a mechanic's going to figure out how to fix this so yeah. that I can continue to get to, you know, point A and B. Um, just things like that. And we don't realize that like, as bad as we have it, mm-hmm. As mm. bad as we have it, there's someone yeah. else out there that has it worse. And mm. then what really got me is, and humbled me really, is when... Or I, you could be worse. It could be a worse situation, situation for me. I say that I all the time. Word, it but. could be worse. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. You know, I'm good. I'm alive. My kids are alive. All those things. But, right. um, but really humbled me was, you know, I'm crying about... I'll just be honest. So at this point, I was in the midst of my marriage pretty much dissolving. And, you know, at one point I was in my bathroom trying to stay away from my kids because they were little so that they didn't know mommy was upset, you know, that I was crying and things. And I was praying for God to bring Mm -hmm. this man home. Just Mm -hmm. bring him home. Uh, if If you want me to be, you know... The X, Y, Z done to me for the rest of my life, I will just bring him home because the impression, the thought that he brought to me is like, I'm praying all these things and I'm like, almost like I had, I felt sorry for myself and I had like pity for myself, Mm -hmm. you know, because Mm -hmm. of how dare he treat me this way, (laughs) do these things to me. But Jesus died on the cross. Mm -hmm. People spit on him. People like brutally you know, killed him. So the no answering my phone call, the no coming home, mm. the, no, the lies, whatever. I I can live with that, honestly. Mm. <laughs> so it just, it humbled me to, to really think of it that way of it could be worse. It right, could be way right. worse. So, you know, but, and, but, this book really in God's word is what got me through that whole time, yeah. um, that season of my life. And so, um, and that's not to, you know, berate him or, or drag him through the mud or anything. It's just, it's my story. It's and I'm not time. ashamed of, yeah, I'm not ashamed of the things that I've gone through because mm-hmm. it's gotten me to where I am today. Right. And, and if I had not gotten, gone through that, I wouldn't have the wisdom to share with the next person that God brings um, into my life that is going through similar situation, going through similar battles, you know. Um, and not everybody's marriage, you know, is it will be dissolved. Um, so, what did you? What do you think um, brought you to that point to where you instead of like maybe because some people, you know, they run to drugs or alcohol or even another man, you know, just because. Yeah. What made you go to God? I think I told you and mentioned it last week. There, I can't explain it other than God's hand on my life. Mm-hmm. Um, but something just told me run to God. Mm-hmm. Not drugs, not alcohol. So basically not, the Holy Spirit. Yep, not another um, man or men. And it, 
you need to go to God. Right. And so I did, I think I shared with you this week too, like one of my favorite scriptures mm. is James 4, 8. And it says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Yeah. And I don't know where, right. like where I first um, read that scripture. I've always just thought like, Kelly, it's a really short scripture. That's why you <laughs> picked it up. And that's why it's your favorite because it's really <laughs> easy to remember. But I, it's the beautiful, it's, it's beautiful. No, it's beautiful. It's and it, it simple, is the, the point. essence of my life and my mm-hmm. walk with him is draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Oh, yeah. oh, that, awesome. that, that's so maybe totally. just for the people who are watching, um, maybe if you don't feel like drawing to God, maybe just, maybe just kneel down. Right. And just, uh, encourage you to mm-hmm. just pray and ask God, because I promise you that it wasn't the marriage Part, but uh, one time I felt so desperate and I remember just just thinking and saying like I was this close to going turn, making a U-turn and going back to alcohol you know what I mean because um for a long period of time in my life I feel like that was the stronghold in my life uh, it was alcohol mm-hmm. and obviously those bring you and take you to other places dark places in your life and mm-hmm. I, I just felt like God please may uh, just make a way, just break this off of me. I mean, I feel like I, if there is an altar call about alcohol or uh, addiction or even anywhere or just prayer in general, I'll just be going to the altar. But then I was like, there's no change. Like I thought that it was magically going to appear and just, I was just going to change, but it's behavior. It's the, um, it's just, becoming aware and just the habits we do okay i'm not going to go to that liquor store (laughs) you know what i mean i'm not gonna go to that store Mm -hmm. i'm not even going to justify a simple just oh it's just one glass yeah exactly because i just realized that one thing led to another you know what i mean and i was just like i can't do that like i can't one glass led to more and so i just fear like that i was so desperate i ask God to change me and then he eventually showed me you know what I mean with scripture with his word you know I started you know because I feel like I didn't have what you have and I feel like some maybe the viewers that are watching wouldn't have that because obviously we all have different paths but but people who are struggling with the same thing maybe marriage or uh, or alcohol uh, or I don't know, just sadness or yeah. you just broke up with their boyfriend or girlfriend. Like, I just feel like that is a hard, like, you know, that I feel it because some, someone just shared with me that they just broke up with their um, girlfriend of 18 years. And it just, it hurt. He was just so heartbroken. And I was just so like sad, you know, it, it when you don't feel sad for people, I'm just like, um, I just feel like, we should all feel that way about, right. you know, each other. Like when you're hurting, I'm hurting right. too. And um, we just pray for each other. You right, know what I mean? Right. Even though we don't go through the same path in life, but I just feel like we should pray. I think that's the main thing. Like just keep praying and keep asking God. Like, and you, f- I feel like somebody needs to hear, like you don't have to just go and go kneel down and put your, your best saint hat on, you know what I mean? Right, you, right. You just get, you sit down in your bed or whatever you feel comfortable. Me, personally, I like to kneel down, you know, but if you don't want to do that or if you're not used to doing that, just get, start off with just thanking God and then asking him to help you and change you because he will, he does hear us. Yeah. I was just going to add to that. Like, um, I think when people hear, um, start praying it, it might be a little daunting like mm. overwhelming of oh i don't know how to yeah, pray exactly like, what what do i say yeah and so it's basically a conversation that you have with god right. um and also what you were talking about as well i feel like i know i'm an empath or i have i can have empathy for people in their mm-hmm. situation you it's know what people. they're going yeah. through like what hurts them and the sadness and their the devastation you know I, I sometimes take that on as well and just it like breaks my heart for them. But I feel like uh, even if you are not like I don't think I was, 
I mean, I feel sad if somebody's crying, but I didn't feel their pain. Right. You know? So you felt so, sorry, but not. Yeah. And, and I feel like when you come to Christ, sympathy, not like empathy. it changes. Like yeah, you yeah, yeah. feel their pain. You. That's my brother and my sister yeah. that's going through pain, that's going through whatever yeah. they're going through, you know, mm-hmm. uh, just a bad time in life or the season they're in. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I feel like and I pray. I'm just like, what? Like even in the like grocery store, somebody tells me like. I was at the pharmacy getting some medicine for my mom, mm-hmm. and there's this lady. She just had an accident. It's terrible. I mean, she had back pain and all this type of pain. And I was like, "What's your name? Let me just pray for you." You know what I mean? And I feel like just talking to people because sometimes people are just lonely. I, I feel like that's true. Everywhere I go, somebody just wants to talk to me. You know? And I mean, and I'm more than glad to talk to you because I love to talk. You know? <laughs> but I, I, I just feel like there's some people who are just there and I feel like, hey, hi, how are you? A simple hello would open up the door and then eventually oh, they open up and then they'll tell you just the either wonderful story. things or just really creepy or bad. But either way, you're 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 being open. You're showing God's love. And then at the end, I'm just like, hey, listen, have you heard the good news? <laughs> You know, so I, I just feel like we just need to care more about each other and just and not only care about each other, but let it known, you know, because nobody and I've heard it too many times where people are like people don't care how much, you know, until they know how much you care. And that's actually true. You know, like mm-hmm. they don't people don't care like they might be watching right now. They don't care how much we know how, our lives, but if they know that we actually care, care about, about them, them and that is the reason why we even do this. Because we want to spread God's love and, you know, the things that we experience and want to help somebody. Like, if you're going through a hard time, that's what we need to, you know, if you, you need to call on you. <laughs> I, um, they're like, don't give your number. I know you're going to give your number, my sister. <laughs> But anyways, no, yeah. just tell them to put it in the comments. Yeah, just and, put it in the comments. And, I mean, we're really more than glad. We're not counselors or anything. No. By all means, no, not even a professional. But, I mean, I know a little something. And if <laughs> I don't, then I might just send you to the Bible, you know. It, Which it, is the best answer. Right. But, no, and just while you were saying that, we're not counselors and yeah. anything like that. But last week, I think you talked about, or when I was talking, you are like, before you become a, a a mentor, a motivational speaker. And I don't really think of myself or mm-hmm. us as that, right? Like what God brought to my mind or when I was journaling and, and um, praying over the week was, have you ever done promotional work or like been a brand ambassador before? Yeah. So don't, I, yeah, I used to, to do marketing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he just brought ambassador for Christ. Mm, yeah. So I mean, I'm not a counselor, but the one who's in me is. So if whatever comes, you know, <laughs> once I'm, and I told uh, Kelly, if I start speaking Spanish, just know the Holy Ghost took over. You know what I mean? Right, right. <laughs> so my when thing, I'm praying. Right, right. When we're praying. And my thing is, if I start crying, that's the Holy Spirit as oh, well. yeah. Like, um, it's all tied um, to my emotions. And like you were talking about, like, there's just times, and you probably do it, see it in church. Yeah. You know, yeah. When you're there worshiping, and it's like tears just oh, streaming yeah. down my face. And it's not sad tears. It is just in, like, awe of him, in reverence of him, and then just of, like, but just thinking how, of God's love. And, yeah, how much he, he loves, loves me, yeah. and, and how many times I've been forgiven, and his yeah. grace, and all of that um, is just coming out. While I'm, you know, standing yeah. there worshiping or hearing a message or praying. But you, but you know what's funny? I feel like um, I've always been a crier. I've cried for everything ever since I was little. I mean, my mom's like, man, what's wrong? And I'd be like, nothing. And anyways, I, I feel like now that I'm in the Lord, it's kind of the opposite. It's really? like I, I don't cry anymore. Like Because I feel like before I used to cry because I used to get offended. Mm. And so now that I'm just like... Eh, eh, you know, in with yeah. God, I'm in tune with the one above. Those words don't get to me because every single morning, I mean, as we should put our armor of God for the darts of the enemy every single morning. Yeah. Um, in the day I don't, it's like, oh, that's why because I didn't put God's armor today. Yeah, I, you're the, in a rush. The dart just hit me. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I just feel like anything and everything, I would be offended. I'd be like. Oh, me? You know what I mean? 
You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just cried about everything. But once I realized, like, God is my shield and he will shield me from everything. And those words don't mean anything. Those offensive words, those the lies of the enemies. You know what I mean? I just feel now I do cry when I'm in God's presence. And it's, okay. I feel like it makes me so much stronger. stronger. Yeah. yeah. So, and there's, you know, times when people tell me things and it, it, it tries to sneak in there, but it's like, nah, yeah. I don't think so. You it's know, <laughs> cause it's like, I already know, you know, I see it. God already told me it's coming. And so I've seen it from, you know, a long way, but. Yeah. Yeah. So not to take offense. That's right, right. Not so to take offense. not okay. to take yeah. offense and just to, because I mean, the battle's already won. You know, we're already won. So. Well, thank you for listening today. And um, like always, just follow, like, subscribe. Um, also, last week we talked about, you know, leave us any comments. Um, if you had any questions or wanted maybe something that you um, wanted us to talk about. And then also, I wanted to talk, shout out Roman because <laughs> he watched us last week. And so I just wanted to ask how you thought we did today <laughs> and let us know in the comments. Please be Roman. nice. <laughs> Thank you.